How you doing, fam, man? This is Chris Mizo here, and I got some more exciting news. It is just a fun-filled September. We got processors, we talked about AMD, we talked about Intel, and if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you check out the cards right above me as I talk more in depth about those. But this is gonna be specifically on Nvidia's new 40 series cards. This is gonna be based on leaked photos. I have information about specifications, some pricing information, but everything here that you're about to see will be important pertaining to you I want to talk to you about NVIDIA's 40 series leaked photos. We don't only have it just from Lenovo, but we also got it from other manufacturers such as Zotac and Gigabyte. These three manufacturers have leaked photos of their RTX 4090s. And I will go over each and every one of those because if you take a look at Gigabytes, the box does say 24 Gigabytes. But I will not go over the specifications just quite yet, but I will explain it later. If you look over the RTX 4090s, they look familiar, especially the Gigabyte Designed one. Now, if you take a look at it, it does hold the triple fan design and it is quite large in depth. We zoom in into the box over here. You can also see that it is 24 gigabytes and more than likely it will hold a GDDR6X. So for all you enthusiasts out there who are looking to gain power, not only is it rumored that these cards will be just double the power, it will be triple the power of what a RTX 3090 Ti can produce or RTX 3090, excuse me. And a very similar look, if you compare all the three cards next to each other, they resemble very closely. They are large in size and they almost are just like the RTX 3090 Ti, which means it can take up the three and a half to four slots. You take a look at Lenovo's design that clearly depictates it. Uh, Zotac RTX 4090 was also leaked out on Baidu forms. All these different photos and pictures are coming out to be released and it seems more likely we will see these cards very soon. Once they take a look at these beautiful cards as that I'm showing you now, more than likely it can be different as well when the final product comes because it can always be a slight variation. What we are also curious about is if you take a look at these massive cards that they will be taking these three and a half to four slots, more than likely it will feature PCI Express Power, which is the new power supplies that feature ATX 3.0. 12VH Power, which is for the PCI Express 5.0 connections. Here are some benchmarks to get an idea of exactly how much power these cards could possibly produce. We are getting closer, so the accuracy does become a little bit more truer in sight, but we won't really know everything until the September 20th event. JPL forms, these were mysteriously posed as it claims to be a RTX 4090. You can see the score of 20,192 points. Another very good detail, if you pay attention to what he posted here, you can see the clock speed can go up to 3,015 megahertz, which is pretty insane. Usually you don't see GPUs hitting that type of level. It does give some indicators right here that this card can push well over to 75, roughly about 75 to 78% over its predecessor, which is the RTX 3090. The claim is it was in about ambient temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius. And the claim was also that the GPU stayed around the 65 degrees Celsius range. The RTX 4090 was also air cooled. There was no extra features on there, such as water cooling or AIOs or anything like that. But if this is true, this is pretty remarkable for a GPU, especially for how cool it stayed. But if you take a look at the photos, you can see some obvious discrepancies when it comes to temperature as it does reach a little bit higher. This claim is based on the averages of 65 degrees Celsius and not of its highest possible temperature. Because of all this RTX 4090 talk, I do wanna go over their specifications first because who doesn't wanna know the best GPU out there? Of course, it will feature Ada's Lovelace design. It will have about 16,384 CUDA cores. And as we spoke earlier, as we went over the pictures, it was evident the specifications matched the rumors, which is 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. And allegedly it will be 
around 21 gigabytes per second. So something I also want to share about the RTX 4090 it will also vary on which model of RTX 4090 that you receive on how much wattage it will push out. Now, the standard base wattage that you'll typically see is probably about 450 watts. Some other manufacturers, such as Lenovo, is claiming that their RTX 4090 is about 660 watts, and some could even push out further. Of course, depending on the customizability and depending on the manufacturers, more than likely the average one that you will see is about 450 watts of TGP, and it can go as high up to 800 watts of TGP. Now this is talking about performance wise. If you are using it heavy, you will just expect that much out of it and you will need a very decent power supply when it comes to requiring for this power, especially if you're gonna run it with some, something like AMD's Ryzen 7950X. So let's talk about more of a realistic model that everybody will more than likely go for. And that's the RTX 4080 because I'm sure nobody out there wants to spend money for an RTX 4090, especially we all seen Nvidia's price plan. We honestly want to see what the RTX 4080 can offer, especially if you're trying to upgrade from something like an RTX 3080, you're probably going to see if it's necessary or if it's worth the upgrade or if it's just better to wait for the next generation. Now, all these cards will be Ada Lovelace. The RTX 4080 will also have up to a 16 gigabyte model. It will have 9,728 CUDA cores and the boost clock's about 2,505 megahertz, which is, again, very powerful. That's still way more powerful than its predecessor. You're talking about 70 to 80% boost over its predecessor. More than likely, it can outperform a RTX 3090 with these type of specifications. The memory is also clocked about 23 gigabytes per second. Its uh, TGP is about 340 watts, which isn't all too bad. And more than likely, a RTX 4080 will take up less lots than obviously RTX 4090. If you maximize its power limit, which again, it depends on the manufacturer. If it's allowed, you can even go up to 516 watts. Of course, that this goes without saying, there will be a variant model for the RTX 4080, 12 gigabyte card. More than likely, we'll probably see the name change and it'll probably end up being the RTX 4070, to be honest. And this model's equipped with the AD104 with 7,680 CUDA cores and up to 2,610 megahertz of clock speed. And with the boost up to 2,610 megahertz, it will also use a GDDR6X and have speeds up to 21 gigabytes per second. Now the TGP for this card will be reaching about 285 watts, but it is said that it can possibly reach all the way up 366 watts of TGP. So it is pretty insane. You could take a look at the list yourself and compare all the specifications. It is interesting to say the least. To get a little bit further into the details, there is some pricing information that I would also like to share because this was also posted by accident on Australia's website. More than likely, all the prices that you will be seeing here are all placeholder prices because you can see here it's a RTX 4090 OC edition card. And they have it listed for 4,270 Australian dollars, which is equivalent to 2,916 US dollars which is more than likely the price to bid for it in order to try to get your hands on one of these cards. More than likely, it's gonna be priced around $14.99 USD, similar to its predecessor, just like the RTX 3090 when it was released. But don't be surprised if you do see a price influx of $100 to $150, which is worst case scenario, might see it priced at $1,699 USD for the RTX 4090. This could very well happen. Same thing with the RTX 4080. You can see a price increase closer to the $749 at the highest price. At the lowest point, you can imagine it would be a $599 USD, which would be nice if they stayed with the pricing and you can already imagine what the RTX 4070 would be like. So fam bam guys, what I gotta tell you, what is super important to know, especially now because the RTX 
40 series cards are about to be released is that Nvidia is trying to offload their inventory. So if you take a look now, you can get some Nvidia cards really cheap. If you are looking to purchase one, you really need one that bad, or you don't really care for the newest card, and you get want to get one on the cheap. Nvidia has some of the craziest deals. You can get your hands on an RTX 3090 Ti. That's right, an RTX 3090 Ti for 1099 USD. And if you want any of these cards, make sure you check down in the description box down below because I have them listed for you. If you are trying to get any RTX 30 series cards, it is 100% worth it. Definitely worth the upgrade, especially if you're on a budget and you're looking to upgrade. Once these RTX 40 series cards are out and once the inventory is low on our RTX 30 series cards, you don't want to seriously regret to miss these great deals. The next question you probably have is when will Nvidia officially release these cards? And I don't expect all the cards, probably the RTX 4090 be released first as it will be their flagship card and will be their most expensive. So why wouldn't Nvidia release that first? More than likely we'll see that release sometime October or a little bit later than that, maybe early November. And then you can expect the RTX 4080 to be released soon after, maybe about a month later in December or even in January for the rest of the cards to appear. But most importantly, if you want all those uh, great details about the RTX 40 series, Event, make sure you check it out on September 20th. I will also have the link down in my description box down below. So fam man, guys, I hope you found this video very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody who loves PC and tech, make sure you share this video with them. And if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So more importantly, I want to hear from you fan band. Is it really important to you to get Nvidia's newest RTX? 40 series cards. If it is, please let me know why in the comments down below, or will you just take advantage of Nvidia's price cuts for their 30 series cards? Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.